Hi guys, in Fundy. Hey, 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 makeup and mobility. A channel where we like to focus on makeup and disability advocacy. If you like that idea, please stick around and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Also, watch this video until the very end because it helps with my YouTube algorithm watch time. I greatly appreciate it. But I need to let you know up front that this video is not going to be like my typical videos. It's going to be my mental health story. May is Mental Health Awareness Month and I, I've been struggling with mental health issues all my life. But especially significantly in the past year. On June 8th of last year, I attempted suicide for the third time in my life. And this is extremely hard for me to talk about because I don't like talking about this type of thing, but it's extremely needed, especially within the disability community. A couple of reasons why I attempted suicide. Number one, my boyfriend broke up with me that morning. Number two, my voice wasn't being, I felt like my voice wasn't being heard and valued and needed. And I felt a lack of independence and a lack of value ship when it came to some of the boards I sat on. Number three, I had gone to a camp where my physical needs weren't being met. And this led me to experience mental health issues. But even beyond that, I was hearing things, I was seeing things, things I knew weren't true, things I knew weren't there. Um, it was really scary. And I just did not know how to verbalize it to my parents. But I have to say that my parents have been my biggest ally. And me sharing my mental health story because according to the National Library of Medicine nationwide an estimated 17.4 million adults with disabilities experience frequent mental health distress 4.6 times more often than adults without disabilities and adults living below the federal poverty level report mental distress 70% more than adults living in higher income households. What is being done about this, you ask? Well, I'm making it my personal mission to share my story to all these different agencies, to all these different mental health companies, Because I know I'm not the only one struggling with this. I have friends who struggle with mental health issues and who have disabilities. In six months after I attempted suicide, a teenager in my area went to the biggest hospital within my state and was turned away because of her wheelchair and her mental health issues. So I know I, this, I'm not the only one experiencing this. In my personal case, I attempted suicide on a Thursday. Went into a company on Friday and that initial visit was not very good. The therapist undermined, undermined and overlooked the fact that I was in a wheelchair and said I couldn't harm myself because I was in Walter. The only good thing about that visit was I got to meet someone named Scott who does music therapy and music therapy has been official, has been beneficial for me in my mental health. So hi Scott, if you're watching this.
and hi to my team if you're watching this you guys are awesome i they gave me an appointment for five weeks out and my exact response to my mom was i don't know if i'm gonna be here in five weeks and if you guys know my parents at all that book was not gonna fly with my parents especially my dad my dad has been my biggest ally in sharing my story with my mental health. I've been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, ADHD, anxiety, and depression on top of cerebral palsy. I'm here to say that there is hope. And I know I'm not the only person who struggles with mental health especially in my area and especially nationwide because 17.4 million adults with disabilities experience frequent mental distress 4.6 times more often than adults without disabilities and my goal is to take this mission nationwide and aim to more agencies I'm getting to share my story on a national level at the Oklahoma. I got to share it at the Oklahoma Miss Amazing pageant, and I'm getting to share it nationally at the National Miss Amazing pageant this July. If you guys want to help me in fundraising for that, I will leave my sponsor queen down below. I know I'm not the only one struggling with this issue and it just takes someone, one person to speak up for someone to get inspired to sh share their story and that's why I'm doing it today because I want to end the stigma, I want to end the silence, I want to end the burdenism, I want I want to end the stigma. I want to end the silence. I want to end the burdenism of mental health issues and disabilities. If you guys want to reach out to me privately, I will leave my Facebook page link down below. And I will leave my sponsor, Clean Fundraiser, down below. If you guys want to help me um, spread this mission nationally to Chicago in J July. I love you guys so much. If I'm beauty and advocacy, you guys keep me going so much and I appreciate you guys more than ever. I love you guys. Never thought I would see 25 but here I am and here I've survived a year a very tough year um and i just appreciate you guys so much please keep the comments for respectful please keep them light and respectful and kind because this is a very difficult subject for me to talk about i love you guys find beauty and advocacy and keep rolling on and there is hope, even when your brain is telling you there isn't. That's a quote by John Green. I love you guys. I'm beauty and advocacy and keep rolling on. Bye.